Go. Hello guys, welcome back to the Young Bad Podcast. Um, this is episode five. I'm the co-host Josh Caputo. Um, mate, the camera's there. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> the camera's there, mate. I've got a host, Jono, here. He's, um, he's lost a bit of his voice after the game on Sunday, so I'll be doing most of the talking. But um, yeah, today we've got a special guest coming on the show. Very special. The, uh, Dave Marasco, the also known as Wheels. Wheels. <laughs> we've, got, we've got a bit of a crowd Wheels. this episode. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. We've got a crowd this episode. Let's go, Will. And um, before we start, Dave. This is, um, hey, boys. Hey, yeah. The Pepsi. Good, good. Before we start, this is Pepsi's. Get it, get it back. Know, just. Oh, hold that. So I can get it perfect. Oh. <laughs> Lovely. So how are you, how are you today, Dave? Yeah, good, mate. Thank you. Thanks, Jono. Capo, how are you, bud? Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Good. Cool. So let's talk about the bar. Yeah. So the development of the bar has been great. You know, everyone gets around it. What, what, what happens behind the scenes? Well, I took over running the bar here at Yarrambat uh, about four years ago. Um, I think that we've improved it greatly over the, the course of time. We've um, created quite a, quite a bit of a good scene on Thursday nights in particular. We get quite a number of people down. Um, sometimes they're not even part of the footy club and they'll drop in for a drink. Uh, we have some barbecues going and um, and uh, music and football if it's on the TV and the fire going over there and we do our cold meats and our um, par- chicken palmers and, yeah. and uh, we create create a bit of an environment for the club. So this uh, we see this club not only as a football club, that's obvious why we're here, but more than that, it's a... Uh, it's the local part of the community. This is the only building in the in Yarrambat. Yeah. We don't even have a milk bar. So yeah. this is where people Anymore. meet up. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's they, used right. to, they used to be a real good one. Just up there. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Unfortunately, shut down. Yeah, um, so this is the focal part of the club, and, and it, it's important that somewhere ha- some, the people have somewhere to meet. Yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's, it's in good hands, isn't it? Yeah, it it's, it, it, it's hands, in lovely hands. Yeah. So uh, with the club, uh, the new what's it called? New new whole club rooms, project buildings, development. project. Oh yeah, development. yeah, yeah. You're yeah. the um, you're the owner of the project development. Uh, not uh, owner, well, a part I, of it. I'm a yeah, I'm a part of it. Um, we have put together some plans. We're working with a, a, a building company who've put and their architects who've put together a design for the new buildings here in Yarrambat and. Um, like with any major project, it needs to be funded by someone. Uh-huh. Uh, won't be funded by us, <laughs> um, if not. Uh, so we, uh, we're, we're working with local council, um, looking for grants, looking for money to come from somewhere, might come from state government, and doing everything we can to um, basically raise this building to the ground and, and start with something fresh, uh-huh. um, something that's more inclusive for the girls uh, and the cricket club, um, and hopefully basketball, netball, everyone's involved in a new central location. Yeah, so we can obviously, the people can obviously see the plans on the Facebook page, is it? Yeah, we've got plans, uh, some some um, perspectives and uh, just on the Facebook page. They're up on the wall in the bar here for anyone to have a look at. Uh, at this point in time, it's all sort of just sitting, sitting idle whilst... Um, Budgets get sorted out, um, and then we'll get a deeper into the design later on. It's all conceptual. Um, it's all about just what's it going to cost? Can we afford it? Yeah. Um, obviously, we've got the place and we've got the need. Yeah. So it's just about getting all our ducks in a row, and then we'll go forward with further design. Yep, that's good. So, Dave, have you heard the good news? What's, what's the good news, mate? The good news? I'll, I'll get Josh to talk about it. Josh, you want to talk about the sponsor? Uh, I have heard. Oh, um... We've actually, the Yarra podcast have gotten a sponsor. Yep. Uh, is it Epping Telstra? Epping Telstra. Epping Telstra have kindly sponsored us, which is um, very big for the podcast. Big news. Making moves. Yep. It's good to see. Oh, mate. Making big waves. <laughs> you know, we started this, <laughs> we started this not knowing what we are going to do. Yeah, no. And then, now look at us. Still don't. We've got a crowd. We've got, got a crowd. <laughs> Everyone loves it. Yeah, we've got a few. Oh, so, so every tr- after every Tuesday night training, Thursday night training, Sunday match footy, Minty's always asking for a, a bit of a mention on the podcast, you know. He, he always gets into me, Joshy, because we never give him a mention. So here's the mention, mate. Thanks for being my coach. Uh, you're, you're a great bloke. You know, I'm sure we'll get you on here sometime. We would, but we couldn't do it here. I actually we asked him, right? Him. I asked him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty <Now> good. <laughs> 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 
I actually, I actually messaged him. Oh, Mick knows I love him. No. <laughs> I actually messaged him in the car to see if he wants to come on, but he's at the city or something. Yeah, right. Working. Um, yeah. Mover and shaker, that guy. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure everyone at the club knows. For people that don't know, we just had the um, our indigenous round. Oh yeah. Uh, we did very good. The oh. club, heaps of people. Heaps of people showed up to that Saturday night game. Yeah, it was a good crowd. A lot of people represented the club nice, very good. And um, we only had one team out of the whole this whole last week. We only had one team that lost. I forgot what team it was. Actually. Nah, no idea who lost. Uh, I forgot what team it was, but <laughs> it's good to see everyone was representing oh, the awesome. jersey well, the kit well. You know, we had the um, ground painted in the middle. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll also be wearing the jerseys this week as well. Are we wearing them week? this week as well? Yeah, two yeah, weeks. Yeah. Do we get to keep them? Yep. Yeah, we keep them. Yep. Because we had um, few sponsors. Yeah, we had sponsors yep. for. So every team the, had two or three sponsors, which paid for the top. So all the players get to take those home and put them, put them on their shelf or put them in a in was, a was, frame. Was every jersey different? Every jersey yeah, had that's different right. sponsor. Correct. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. There was two or three three sponsors from every team within the club. So well, thanks paid, for everyone too. Paid for the tops. Yeah. Thanks for everyone for sponsoring all the different types of teams. Yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 that's huge. That's, that's huge, mate. Yeah. I mean, it's that's yeah, big commitment. it's huge. That's that's all the kids. There's you know probably three hundred jumpers they can hand it out. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're back. Um, going back to the um, under 15s night game on Saturday. And and the fourteen, and girls. 14, 14 girls. Can't 14, forget them. Fourteen girls. Sorry. Sister that. played in that. So fiftieth. Congratulations to Emily. Um. How do I? We want to talk about how good the night was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's just go deeper into the night. Yeah. So let's talk, let's talk about what happened. So the uh, we. Had oh, you the, weren't here, were you? Were you? Uh, oh, he wasn't here. I was watching the live stream on Facebook. Oh, my, voice, oh, my voice is going to be sore. So yeah, we had the uh, we had the smoke ceremony. Yeah. At the middle. In, in between. The in two between games. the two yeah. games, that was awesome. The the didgeridoo mm. sound did amazing. It was going through the big speakers from. Light and, light and sound, light and sound solutions. Solutions. Yeah, Andrew Stanley helped yeah. us out there. Yeah, thank you and, uh, for that. It was good to see everyone was also getting involved with it. Yeah, you know, I had a crowd surrounding the um, circle behind the players, which was good to see. Like you know, everyone also respecting the all four arms were in. Yeah, all so four the centre teams. circle was the um, Aboriginal flag, yeah. uh, painted, and uh, and the four teams. So the girls who had just come off the ground and the boys who were going on, they stood around and they had the didgeridoo and the smoke ceremony. Yeah, yeah there was, um, there was like four And teams. then there would have been 600 people around yeah. the ground watching. Yeah. yeah. As well as, um, yeah, there was people from council, like, yeah. the league, yep. who else, um, politics from either side. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, other teams like Whittlesey, Elfin, all the clubs in general, everyone got down, which was good to see. Yeah. yeah. Of people. Really people. good night. Really, really good night. And then all the um, sounds after the goals and stuff, you know, that, yeah. was, that was good to yeah, Metallica when the 15s ran out onto the ground. <laughs> that was crazy. So yeah, it was a it was a good vibe that night. Um, I think that Yarrow Bad setting the standard for night football in particular, but just football around. Oh yeah, and Ca- Capo's got the got the top on the jersey. I've got an oversized jersey on, but you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it, it, it's a nice design. It's good. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're back, and um, we're gonna get Dave Marasco to explain this end of year celebration <laughs> party thing. You. Yeah, yeah. That we have going on at the end of the year. So. Yeah, so end of season function this year. I'm not sure if that comes up, but we've got. Uh, it's at the club rooms. It's on the 29th of July, so it's coming up in two and a half weeks. Um, it's Sam and Sam. So anyone around town would have heard Sam and Sam play before. Um, it's almost sold out. So I think we're up to about 80% of tickets sold. Uh, so get in quick if you want to be a part of that. Um, it's. Gonna, we're going to have the bar open, of course, um, the music downstairs, maybe a DJ afterwards, and it's going to go for a long, long time. So um, those who are thinking about it, get in now because there's not many tickets left. Yeah. And um, also, going into the um, off-season, uh, John and I, you know, we'll try and get in here, try and get in the club, try and post as much as we can. But, you know, obviously there's not going to be as much... To talk, you know, about. to talk about. Try again once a month. Yeah, just considering obviously you know, footy's finished, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. We'll come yeah. here a few days, record a few yeah. videos, but um, stuff like that. It could be a Mad Monday recap. I can see <laughs> us on. I can see us on um, 
what's it called? Uh, the best and fairest day? What, what do you call that? Yeah, we call it Brownlow for the 17s, do you mean? Or for presentation day? Just, oh, presentation, presentation day. day. Yep. We Present- could do a bit of a roaming, yeah, we'll roaming BT a, action a roaming, on presentation you know, day. Get around all the boys that came first, second, third, you know. Yeah. Just get around everyone, you know. I'm sure it'd be good. Everyone yeah, would love that. Yeah, that'd be sick. Who yeah. would love that? In bar, mate, In the bar? this is... This is the place to hear rumours. I have heard a couple of rumours floating around. Um, yeah. Some good ones too. Uh, I've heard a little bit of a rumour about a new scoreboard. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, big, Just, big. We, we have a good scoreboard. We've great. Oh, we have a better one coming. Oh. Uh, yeah, about Footy Club and the Plenty Valley Cricket Club might be getting together to put up a big. I think it's going to be about four metres wide. Three metres tall, maybe a little smaller, something like that, but it's got the full digital display and uh, it's just a rumour, but looks like it what looks fe- like a new scoreboard. What features do you reckon come along with that? I reckon it might have a little skull celebration oh. coming up, Capo. You know? I, I think yeah, Dino have one of them, Kilmore have one of them. Yeah, few, yeah. Have one have that. yeah, it'll be similar to what some of the other clubs have got, uh, but ours will be better. Yeah. Um, of course it will. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, talk about pre season. Mm. You know, we have a lot of programs. We have Boom Fit, um, Next Gen. Yep. What else do we have? Um, yep, so, so we've got... A couple, I think... Boomer uh, and Scooter. So every week. Pretty lucky to have at Yarrambad here. We've got um, Brent Harvey and his good friend Scooter doing some uh, training with, uh, with, with the boys. And I don't know who else you'd rather have training you than a 400-plus yeah. game AFL legend. Yeah. Um, so we're pretty lucky down here. Yeah, yeah. And, and Scooter's great as well. Oh, Sco- yeah. Scooter's our new Pretty impressed with Scooter. He's, uh, he's helping in. out with the 16s at the moment, which might, yeah. which we're all in. And, uh, yeah, couldn't be more impressed. I'm, 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 I don't know if there's much food knowledge as them too. So yeah. when he you has along to help yeah. us yeah. out. There's a bit of a rumour about a couple of our uh, superstars, 17s, mm-hmm. who are coming back. Capo, have you heard that one? Oh, I haven't heard that one. Yeah, yeah I think what, you have. Nate. Oh, I think it's written in front of you, mate. It is written in front of you. Yes. <laughs> my bad. Um, as well as, going to try and get Nate, Nate Nick Caddy, Caddy, Noah Barnes, um, Cooper Harvey. What, are I, they going to do pre-season help? Just yeah, out. yeah, yeah. Confident that um, Nate and Noah are coming back to help yeah, with pre- pre-season training. Um, obviously, Nate was in the Herald Sun last week, possibly going to go top, top 10 in draft. Something along this that year. way. Or well, when he's, at, oh. when he's at the right age next year, yeah. yeah. And uh, and Noah is not far away himself, both at the Northern Knights at the moment. Noah's yeah. older than Nate, Yeah, isn't correct. He? Yeah. Yeah. And so. I also heard that during the um, pre-season, there's going to be a, bit of a few boxing classes going on, you know. I'm sure Jono would love that. Yeah. Get a bit of anger out because, you know. Yeah, Woz was talking about, do you, know, do you know anything about that, Dave? No, I haven't heard about that, but it's not it's not uncommon for the preseason to yeah. to belt the crap out of each other. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. I would love to go against John. I reckon he'd be an easy target. I reckon I'd smash him. I'd like to watch. <laughs> you'd, you'd pay to watch. I'd that. pay. I'd pay that pay for view on that one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, who would win? I reckon, I reckon I'd back myself. No, I'm sorry, Capo, mate. I'm oh, sorry, mate. John has uh, got you. John has got you. Day, He's got, nuts. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I got bigger legs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> can bench right, a bit more. Do you reckon? Right? Can yeah, press a bit it. more. <laughs> well, as um, with the Indigenous round this week, um, we also have a Saturday night game on this Saturday night at 6.45, the under-13s will we'll be playing. I'm not too sure if that's a, if that's a big game or not. But, Missing um, South Rang. South Rang. Obviously South yeah. Rang, so make sure everyone comes down, you know, get a bit involved. I reckon we might record a little segment. If you, should, you, can, be, if you can go, I'll go and we'll record a little segment yeah. while we're there. And um, as well as... I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna be too cocky, but it's looking good for Yarn. But you know, nine out of the eleven teams are projected to make finals, which is obviously very good for the club. Yeah. Mm. You know, it shows that it's got a lot of strength to this club and um, stuff like that. Yeah, traveling well, the boys and girls traveling. In fact, the girls are traveling better because they're better most most of the teams. A lot of the teams yeah. are undefeated. So. I'm pretty sure my yeah. sister's team is undefeated, and they're mm. winning games by like seven. They're going quite well. Good program That's down good. here. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Um, I reckon that will just about do it. Yep. You reckon? Yeah. All right. All right. You Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, yeah. Wheels. 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 Anka, you got to do an outro. We have outro. to do an outro. You, you, you do can it? do the outro. I'll do the outro. Mate. Do the outro. My honour. Mate, I, my, do you want to do the outro? You can do the outro. I don't outro. know. What's the no, outro? No, well, you, you do the outro. He doesn't know how to edit it in, does he?
we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Alright, all right. All right, ready? You yeah. do it, because must. Alright, guys. Um, thanks for watching episode five of the uh, Yabra podcast. Thank you so much, Dave. My pleasure, mate. Wheels. My pleasure. Thanks, Dave. For Wheels. coming on. No. It's, been a, it's been a great honor okay. talking to you. My pleasure, mate. No problem. All right. Um, wrap things up. Wrap things up. I think I'm, I might see you in episode six. Who knows? But um, I got. I, I might get Marto on. But you know, Marto always pulls out. He does but always pull thanks, out. Th- th- thanks, Capo, out? again for coming. Thanks, Capo, again for coming as yeah, co-host. Right. All right. See you later. See you later.